Gaming. Hey there, I'm Itchy Itchy Scott. Well, hi, Itchy Itchy Scott. What do you do? Well, as I'm sure you've noticed, I have an ugly face. And people like to kill me. I can see why. <laughs> so, we will backtrack just a moment here and make use of this old key so it's not cluttering up our vast inventory. What do you mean it might unlock this door? I think we've established that the old locks that are simple in mechanism are always opened with old keys, Chris. Chris seems a little slow to be authorized to shoot people. <laughs> I'd say he has a rewarding future at the NYPD, though. Ooh. Ooh. More kerosene. Super duper. And what do we have over here? An ink ribbon. That's not a useful zombie slaying weapon. What am I going to do with that? Write strongly worded letters at them? <laughs> Dear Spencer Estate Management, if I could give half a star to your zombieing, I would. I usually love the undead, but you, sir, have a terrible vibe. The rudeness you displayed while I attempted to incinerate your corpse was unacceptable. <laughs> so, uh, we just found the broken shotgun, which we will need later. We will have to come back for it. We can just hang out here for now. So when, uh, do we happen upon, a? Uh, a bathroom with a naked Mila Jovovich wrapped up in a shower curtain. I don't know. We haven't passed through the gates of hell <laughs> just yet. <laughs> I just want to know so I can pull my eyes out first. I don't need to see naked 12-year-old boys. Ooh. <laughs> don't worry. I will pull your eyes out and stomp on them for you. Hey, buddy. Opa! <laughs> I'll just, uh... That was some of the most blatant profiling I've ever seen. Just because a few zombies have tried to eat your brains, you splattered that guy before you could even identify if he had any teeth. <laughs> hey man, you saw him, he was going for my gun. So are you going to be cool to say that? We gotta get our story straight for internal affairs, bro. <laughs> you protected and surfed the shit out of him. <laughs> This looks like a good place to hang out. No further use for the key. Oh, good, so we can get rid of it. Got some popsicles in the cellar. <laughs> <laughs> Come on in. I can't wait to sink my teeth into you, Chris Redfield. <laughs> no. <laughs> Ooh, what do we got here? Oh my gosh. We are just rolling in old keys. That sounds moderately uncomfortable. <laughs> that sounds wildly uncomfortable. It smells like matches in here. Somebody light a piece of shit on fire. <laughs> You'll do. There's a nice piece of shit. Oh. <laughs> My biscuits are burning. <laughs> Did they motion capture someone getting slapped in the ass with a towel for that? <laughs> Jump in Jehoshaphat. This place is lousy with zombies. Thought we sprayed for these things. I thought so too. We're gonna have to call that exterminator back. <laughs> oh man, I should have searched the cupboards for some marshmallows. <laughs> Whip up some T-Virus s'mores, man. We took our cameras behind the counter at your local Taco Bell. What we found may be pretty, pretty much, much a, yeah, exactly yeah. what you expected, yeah. <laughs> no surprise there. A piece of meat from an unidentified source. Oh, that goes on the triple state quesadilla. Ah. Oh, that's right. Squish. Squish. <laughs> yes, uh, zombies do have poopy pants, which to me makes them the most terrifying of all monsters. <laughs> I want nothing to do with what you got going on there. You have any change? Jeez. This one's wearing Kevlar. I don't want to hear your moaning. 
Maybe you shouldn't have dropped out of MIT and started working for shadowy companies that force you to work in spooky mansions in the middle of the woods. You've made poor life choices. Yes, this is your own fault. <laughs> I'm gonna wasting the bullet. <laughs> <laughs> you made your casket now rot it. Freaking worm trolley. <laughs> <laughs> worm trolley. Uh, <laughs> I think that's what we should call them from here out. <laughs> <laughs> Works for me. There's an elevator here. It doesn't look like you can access it from this floor. So it's a snobby elevator. Oh, the first floor, huh? <laughs> that's below me. <laughs> That joke works on at least two different levels. <laughs> ba -doom yeah, I, I had an extra rim shot saved just for that. Thank you. I like the painting there on the mantle of the guy with the sh sword getting shoved through his face. Always a classic. Yeah, that's the Persistence of Stabbery by Stabador Dolly. <laughs> Genius. This is a new section they added in the remake as well. This wasn't in the original 96 version. Resident Evil Remodeled <laughs> Renovations. Oh, uh, here we go. Wonder what's on the other side of this door. <laughs> the Marlboro testing facility? <laughs> Sounds like it. Evil stuff. Haven't you been paying attention? Again. Chris is not the sharpest tack in the box. Not the sharpest banana in the bunch. <laughs> um, <laughs> oh, we, we've we've got to go in here and have a little fun at this uh, zombie's expense. You'll you'll like this. Will I? I gotta say, I really do like the fixed camera angles and the pre-rendered environments and everything. With the newer games, like where everything is polygons, it just I don't know, it looks very video gamey. A defensive dagger. Glad I bothered coming back here. Oh, good. He looks. <laughs> he looks like he ran to the corner and ran into his ex-girlfriend. <laughs> no, looks like one of mine. You said you'd call! <laughs> you said you'd stop calling. I am not doing this with you. <laughs> okay. Your girl. Follow me around here. Come yeah, on. This seems like a bad time to be rearranging the furniture. <laughs> oh, it is the best time. This is one of the least inviting fortune-telling machines I've ever seen. And voila! <laughs> Gay zombie strip club. <laughs> what, Stars doesn't pay enough so you're dancing for your dollars? Awesome virus on me! Come on and fag my cells! I'm afraid your test results came back positive. <laughs> I'm sorry, but there's no cure for genital sugar. <laughs> best we can do for you is this topical ointment. <laughs> oh, topical humor. <laughs> Pour some ointment on me! <laughs> uh, this is not Spencer Estate talk. Have some class. This is a classy joint. <laughs> Got a lot of icky sores from stanky 80s whores. Yeah. <laughs> 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 that was hilarious, but you're on audio probation now. <laughs> oh! There's not enough cocaine here to fuel all these deaf leopard jokes anyway. <laughs> I don't know, there's a lot of cokey things going on around here. So now we can get in this room. Into the Pharaoh's tomb. Emotep. Oh, classic Resident Evil puzzle. Oh, thank God there's no Brendan Fraser in here. Uh, okay, so this setup here is you have to push the knights back into the right places in the right order, or... Brendan Fraser appears and, quote, acts, unquote, you to death. <laughs> yes. Something in this depression. 
I'm only happy when it rains. <laughs> the great is in the way. I'm gonna say definitely this one first. And I really want to push this one in, but I have a touch of the dyslexia. So I'm gonna go with this guy. Oh, you always trust your first instinct now. <laughs> Unless you got my backwards brain. Then you always instinct your second trust. Oh no, I don't think I did. Oh. Okay. Mm -hmm. Woe to those who disturb my sleep. There's a switch here. Press it. <laughs> who disturbs my slumber? Is that what that Latin is supposed to say? <laughs> it takes a long time to say anything in Latin. Oh, that looks miserable. Somebody shot a mis somebody shot an ugly rocket launcher at <laughs> that wall. Touch nothing but the lamp. <laughs> Yeah. A mysterious box. Sure, we got plenty of item space. I've learned through a lot of mistakes to stay away from mysterious box. <laughs> <laughs> well, all box is a little mysterious. No, I don't want to push the switch. Not yet. I'm pretty sure I remember how to do this. I don't know what that's a picture of, but that's gross. <laughs> oh. It's a misshapen butt. Dual inline sphincters. <laughs> There's a design of the sun. Oh, we're in we're in caution. I didn't realize that. We we'll have to get an herb somewhere. Design of the sun and the moon. On the plate it says sunshine will awaken me. Oh, okay. So we're just pressing anything that's hey a heart shaped box. <laughs> Let's not bring Nirvana up again. <laughs> Can do. And ah, oh, what a letdown. Oh, it's a magnet top bear trap. <laughs> hey. On the plus side, we can join Slipknot. We only need 20 more guys. And then we can appear on the soundtrack for the first of many miserable Resident Evil film sequels. I think we best stay off the topic of the movie so this doesn't turn into a cauldron of seething hatred. Well, what else is there to say that we didn't say when we reviewed Resident Evil, our word? Which one was it that time? Retribution. Uh. This place needs a woman's touch. Decor by Leatherface. <laughs> Furniture you can see yourself in. What shenanigans await? You. Chris Redfield, Alpha Team. We're here to rescue you. We're Luke Skywalker. Richard, what the hell happened to you? My character model was upscaled. <laughs> this place. Get your team out of here. Demons. Everywhere. Don't talk. You don't have the acting jobs. He seems to have been bitten by a poisonous snake. But the size of the bite mark is huge. Thank you. It's not just any ordinary snake. It was solid snake. Take my word for it. He needs serum. I left it in another room. I'll go get it. Please hurry. Hold on. I'll be back. Oh, the another room. I know right where that is. <laughs> Thanks, Rebecca. I'm gonna vague that up a little more. You know, it's by that thing where the two things are next to the thing by the thing on the other side of that. <laughs> I'm sure this all made perfect sense in Japanese. Usually, as I recall, you meet Rebecca in a storeroom and she maces you but this is our first meeting over here. I don't know, I guess I didn't go in there at the right time. So this is something Resident Evil loves to do is this little particular jaunt across the mansion to get serum for snake bites. This, this happens at least another time. <laughs> you have to walk all the way across the mansion, Resident Evil. <laughs> You've only got six item slots, Resident Evil. <laughs> you have to watch a door load animation between every room, <laughs> Resident Evil. <clears throat> this wall texture has been over compressed, Resident, Resident Evil. 
<laughs> okay, <laughs> that'll do for now. You know, Sir Spencer must have spent a fortune on candelabras. These things are everywhere. Uh, this isn't like any Spencers I've ever been in. <laughs> Where's all the pot posters and playing cards with f***ing morbidly obese naked people on them? I'm always looking for the decontamination shower on my way out of that store so I can scrub my eyeballs. Yeah, you know it's bad when you make Hot Topic look like J.C. Penney's. <laughs> We're in caution. We, we really have to not dawdle because we uh, don't get back in time. And now that I've just said that, I am going to save. <laughs> Richard's fine. Yeah, he's got tween cop looking after him. <laughs> Shh. Don't give Hollywood any more ideas. Here's, <laughs> here's a little food for thought. Since we had to go through a ridiculous booby trap puzzle in order to get the key to open that door. How did Rebecca and Richard get in there? Hmm? That's a very good question. One which I expect has no answer. Things often make little to no sense. Resident, Resident Evil! <laughs> <laughs> speaking of uh, things that make little to no sense, and speaking of candelabras, who is going around keeping all of these things lit? <laughs> right? It's probably the same person that's going around and cleaning up all of the zombie bodies immediately. I am thoroughly impressed by this maid service. <laughs> yeah. Are, are you going to revise your strongly worded letter <laughs> to the Spencer estate? It'll certainly be a consideration. Should we put this guy out of his misery? I mean, I feel sorry for him. He's just always spawned in the like perfect wet place to get away. Ah, he's dead ahead. Ooh. He's always hanging out by the nudie statue. I know. Oh, that's his own fault. Ah. How hard would you laugh if he turned and hugged her? <laughs> okay, you can go down now, anytime. That's ridiculous. Oh, yeah. How you like that? Be nice. And you know, actually, what I just did is pretty stupid, because now he can come back as a crimson head. If, if you can get around them, it's really just best to leave them be. They're like hornets. Yeah, just don't piss them off. This statue is pornographic! I hate figurative sculptures. <laughs> and on about my day. That oh, seemed unnecessary. It was. It was... <laughs> Wanton, needless destruction. I'm ashamed of myself. No, the reason you do that is because she's holding a jewel that... I would guess you could probably really just easily get out of her hand. But the only way to get it is to, uh... Okay, controls. Push the statue 12 feet to the floor. I would, just for the record, not touching the controller right now. I am not doing this. <laughs> well, you know. I don't know, this controller's about 15, 20, 30 years old. I'd bet it's the controller. Yeah. My Xbox controllers all end up doing that. Thus concludes our ringing endorsement of fine Microsoft products. Hope this is what you wanted. Thank you. Nope! I'm gonna give you a shot now, Richard. Hang in there. Wait, no. You have to go to the other side of the mansion to give me a lollipop. Here, take it. It's a radio. Oh, thanks. I thought it was a pepper mill. Take care of yourself, Rebecca. Richard! You are really pissing me off. He's okay. He's just unconscious. Rebecca, <laughs> it's not safe here. Let's get Richard to a safer place. Right. Let's get back to the another room. <laughs> Richard's doing well, Chris. He should recover soon. Good. Richard needs you now. I'll watch from the creepy chair. As soon as Richard gets better, we'll come after you. Rebecca, you okay with a gun? Yes. All right. I'm going to continue my investigation. 
Be careful. I'll leave you to your Bieber and your premature sexting and... Uh. <laughs> well, this is 1998, so... NSYNC and Yahoo Messenger. <laughs> Delaying the inevitable. Isn't that all any of us are ever really doing anyway? Said the nearly immortal this robot. This is equipped with all sorts of medical supplies. I could pretty much treat any wound. Want me to treat your wounds? No, Rebecca, I am seeing someone. <laughs> no, I'm okay. But if something should happen to me, I'm counting on you. No problem. But we're very short on medical supplies, so take care of yourself. So, we've learned that Stars lets elderly gypsy women join, and 16-year-old girls. We should have this case solved in no time. <laughs> Why does so much of the Stars budget go to glitter and old world curses? Opa! False alarm. So this is awkward now. <laughs> Chris, I'm sensing some hostility from you. I like how she'll just stare vacantly where I was standing. Why isn't her nose buried in her cell phone? Oh yeah, 1998. It's buried in her Tamagotchi. <laughs> it pooped and died! <laughs> this playthrough has been a who's who of 90s cultural diarrhea. <laughs> yes, so many songs I f***ing hate. <laughs> Just rushing back to me. <clears throat> If you could only see how blue her eyes. No, 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 no. <laughs> God, no. Sometimes I am my own worst enemy. Oh, Jesus. No, that's even worse. Because sometimes I kick the living shit out of me. That's what I can do. <laughs> yes, I'll take it. Then we need the broken shotgun. You know, speaking of horrible voices, the uh, voice acting in this is not terrible, especially when juxtaposed with the original Resident Evil. But I'm almost kind of bummed out that the voice acting went from so unbelievably atrocious, it's wildly entertaining, to just kind of mediocre. The worst thing you can do is be mediocre. <laughs> Yeah, be really good or be really bad. <laughs> the downside to that is people like Tommy Wiseau have careers. <laughs> <laughs> oh, hi, undeserved fame. <laughs> yes. I burn the undead on the catwalk. <laughs> oh, so you can do it, huh? Yeah, but that's early 90s. They had an excuse. I basically consider it the 80s until about 1993. <laughs> okay. I'm pretty sure this will... Yeah, unlock that, but... That room, I don't want to go in just yet. Hey, uh, hey, Topsy. Yeah? Can you hear the dolphins cry? <laughs> Never leave us! <laughs> this is happening to me. <laughs> Two can play that game. The angel opens her eyes. Oh. Hell, blue colored eyes. Uh. Presents the blog. Something on two what? I don't know. <laughs> oh, yeah? With arms wide open. Oh! You've nuked us. Oh, the vulgarity. <laughs> How miserable would we be at sneaking up on zombies? <laughs> <laughs> Wait, maybe we stumbled onto something here. I'm sure we could just send them packing the other way if we keep this up. Zombie! Opa! Opa has performed by the cranberries. In your head! In your head! Bullet! Bullet! Opa! Okay, okay. <laughs> you know what? This is my fault. I know how you get when I let you have Skittles. I'm so high I can taste the rainbow! So, so far Chris has not been attacked by uh, a zombie. Well, hasn't been bitten, anyway. 
but he has been mauled several times by the zombie dog, so I would say he should have the virus. <laughs> that would be a terrible difficulty level. <laughs> if you get hit once, it's just game over. That would be the difficulty level of the actual zombie apocalypse. Closest thing you can get to that here is a, a brisk hike. Something tells me it's going to seem a lot less fun. Really, there's no reason to kill this guy either. Embrace me. <laughs> I'm so lonely in this mansion. Come give Grandpa a hug. Oh, it's hard to watch Grandpa suffering from his dementia. <laughs> Alice! And his terrible hygiene. Look at that arm. Is it you, Rebecca? How are the kids? <laughs> I'm telling you, Martha, I'm a reanimated corpse in a murder house. Okay. Oh, he's gonna... I don't want to do that. That'll box me in. <laughs> Yeah, they think they do, like, little, uh, warm-ups. Will you take the musical score? I will. I will, and then I'll go find a piano. And then it'll probably open some kind of secret chamber. I bet it will. Because that does seem to be the sort of Scooby-Doo bullshit that Umbrella is into here at this lovely establishment. Adam. Either that or a bunch of zombies just come out and go, boo! <laughs> well, with any luck, I hope they dance. River dance. That would that would that would get really messy. I think their legs would just disintegrate. <laughs> Be great. Yeah. So, uh, <laughs> new new topic for discussion: Would uh, stars actually exist? As a former member of an elite zombie slaying force. Myself, you would think I would know this, <laughs> but corpse was a whole other thing. Worldwide emergency type stuff. I'd only know the ins and outs of local law enforcement. I mean, <laughs> can law enforcement just like, you know, hand out nifty little acronyms and give police officers special privileges like this? Well, if this is any indication, they shouldn't. The crash helicopters uh, stand there while their teammates get eaten alive by zombie dogs. I think Stars is the cartoony Japanese answer to American SWAT teams. <laughs> yeah, why didn't they just make them a SWAT team? I left some bullets in the room on the right. I'll go ahead and look for a way out. Wesker. Oh, wait a minute. If it's Wesker, I'm going to have to read it like this. <clears throat> I left some bullets in the room on the right. I'll go ahead and look for a way out. Wesker. <laughs> wait, go back. Meow, 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 bullets, meow, meow, room on the right. Meow, meow, go ahead, meow, 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 way out, meow, Captain Whiskers. <laughs> Well, those calligraphy classes really paid off, Captain Whiskers. So, we're just gonna make a quick little pit stop here before we go get ourselves some real firepower. Uh. Here's one of my biggest complaints with Resident Evil. Um, it seems to me like it... I don't know, I can't say I'm not a video game coder or anything, but it, it seems to me like it would not have broken the bank if you were to set up a system where you could set items down. Because it can obviously keep track of, you know, I mean, if I, if I leave this room and come back a hundred times, that first aid spray will always be sitting there on the floor. I feel like it would probably be able to keep track of where you put things down. Just saying. <laughs> One would think. You can't set any items down, Resident Evil. <laughs> let's let's not get that started up again. <clears throat> Should only take a minute. 
This is so fascinating. Inventory management. I feel like I'm working in the stock room at a Menards. <laughs> hey, uh, speaking of, why are Menards always so big? <laughs> I don't know, but you should probably get that looked at. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, so actually the shoddy room is right this way. The doorknob looks like it's ready to fall apart. Go through anyway. Why not? There's only so many uses of this door you get before the knob breaks and you have to go all the way around the other way. Nobody likes a broken knob. <laughs> So, uh, we're about to enter the infamous Jill's sandwich room. <laughs> Do I even want to know? <laughs> I'm not even going to frame that in context for you. I don't even want to know what kind of weird shit you have to do to unlock that cutscene. Well, I know you like your Resident Evil like you like your Captain Crunch without the berry. But without berry, missing out on tons of horrendously awesome lines. <laughs> <laughs> Although, they're, uh, they they really toned him down for the remake here. Barry doesn't say things nearly as imbecilic as he did in the original version. Oh, what's a game without good comic relief? <laughs> Indiana Jones trick again. If I recall, some sad individual made a suggestive audio sex tape out of... <laughs> The Jill Sandwich comment, and many of the others. Weird. <laughs> yep. So the long and short of it is, if you walk in here and take the shotgun, without the broken shotgun to replace it, the ceiling in this room will come down on you, Barry will save you, and joke that you were almost a Jill Sandwich. Ah. Uh... Wow, they got some big squirrels around here. Opa! Step right up, get your shotgun lobotomies here. Oh. Opa! Uh, uh, mm. Get off! Mm. Look, man, I don't even know these guys. I'm not with them. You don't have to hurt me. Things just got out of control. I'm not. <laughs> <laughs> Opa! Opa!